Looking for singles to finish your deck or collection? CCG Castle has a wide selection of cards at amazing prices. They also have tons of sealed boxes, tins, and packs as well. Use promo code EVO5 to save 5% off your next order. What's up, Pokemon fans? Professor K here for Evolutionaries Gaming. I am accompanied by the Twitch chat down below. You guys can see everybody there. Say hello to everybody here on YouTube. Currently, of course, we do all our videos on Twitch now, and then we upload them to YouTube later. So if you want to see it live, you guys can subscribe to us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash evolutionaries gaming. We have a really good time here when we do things live. Lots of lots of talking in between videos, and a lot of uh, interesting things happen while we're recording these as well. So today we have a, a very unique product. Actually, we have a few unique products as you can see in the background, uh, these are the three boxes I have managed to collect over the years of sealed binders with the packs inside, like the collector's binder with the packs. They're not supposed to be sold like this. They're supposed to be opened up and you're supposed to buy the individual pack with the binder inside. And I got Target to sell me these <laughs> three separate times. So they're not a an official product per se in the box. The official product is what's inside the box, and when you ring them up, they don't ring up with a price. So they've kind of just picked the price and gone with it. I'm not gonna say no to that. So I was actually holding onto them for my collection. Then I changed my mind and I was like, you know, I don't see a lot of these like online that are selling for that much to be worth collecting. And to be honest with you guys, I'm running low on content. I figured I'd give you guys something very unique to open up here. Uh, it's kind of cool and not something you see very often. Uh, this one's gonna have breakpoint packs in it. You'll have other videos as well where you'll have Crimson Invasion coming out of this one and then Unbroken Bonds coming out of that one. So make sure you guys look out for those. The Twitch chat here is going to see them all today, though, on top of three Hidden Fates tins. So there's a lot of stuff going on when we do these types of recordings, usually every other Saturday, sometimes every third Saturday. It averages out to about twice a month. So uh, if you guys want to be part of that, definitely feel free to join us. But today... You guys are going to get to see this one on YouTube, which is the uh, Breakpoint uh, Collector's Album Box, I guess. I mean, there's not really an official name for the box. It's just the Collector's Album Packs that are inside of these. So, ah, eh, what the heck. Let's get into it. I believe there are 12 packs inside of these, which means there are also 12 binders inside of these. I'm going to do my best not to harm the box completely because I want to take a picture of this later for a uh, thumbnail but as you can see these are full of all these little binders with packs inside so we'll put this up here actually I'm gonna put these in the background like so but yeah it's all of these they've got the pack and they got the little collector's binder that holds the 60 cards in it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So essentially there's 12 packs in here. I think at the time I paid like roughly between 20 and $30 for each of these boxes. And there makes them a little over a dollar a piece. Jack, thank you much for the 25 bits. Come to the dark side. We have cookies and free healthcare. Basically a better move Better, better, more recognizable version of Canada fighting the IRL. <laughs> uh, that's a good one, Jack. Thank you very much for the support, buddy. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just take each one of these out. Because I'm going to have a lot of binders, and I don't really necessarily know what I'm going to do with these binders, but I know what I'm going to do with the packs. And that's open them up here on the channel. So what I'll uh, just make it a little bit easier. We'll get through all of the packs here and uh, we'll just make it one opening video, right? Oh man. I know for a fact that this one I paid $20 for. So that means that uh, I got 20 packs or 12 packs for $20, which averages out to being a little less than $2 a pack actually, now that I think about it. A little less than $2 per pack. And at the time, this was actually a really, uh, a really good set. So I probably could have uh, pulled something like Greninja Breaks, which were very valuable at the time, and done probably a little bit better with it that way. But I decided to try to keep them as a as a collector's thing. But I just don't see them, you know, being a, a very high demand item. Not everybody really cares about the binders per se. 
so what the heck we got content right that's the important thing all righty 12 packs of breakpoint something you don't really get to see too too much of anymore it was a fun set for sure when it came out uh, max elixirs are still pretty valuable in this set as well so hey what the heck why not um we'll put code card there three and two so for this one we got ourselves a spritzy temple chikorita gibble Glamiao, Palpitoad, Potion, Pseudo Wudu, in a field of Trevenant, Psychic's Third Eye, and Greninja. Go figure. <laughs> Go figure, we would get a Greninja. After I just got done talking about Greninja Break being a very sought after set for its time frame. What's up, Dose? How you doing? Welcome to the YouTube stream. Or the re recording stream for YouTube. All right, we got another Chikorita. Cliff Fairy with the Hypno in the background. We got a Timpole, a Spritzy, the original Bill Cosby, as Anne used to call it. All Night Party, Psychic's Third Eye, Pokemon Catcher, Phantom Reverse, and a Garchomp Hollow. This card always had such potential, but never took off, really. Uh, Turbo Assault 60 and attach an energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon was a pretty good attack for a single energy, but getting it to that stage 2 was always a problem. Bite off, 80 damage, and it does additional 80 if your opponent's Pokemon was an EX. So this was one of those cards that had like fringe potential, but didn't actually get a chance to make it the way that we were hoping it was going to actually make it. But it was good though. It was good. It just needed a little bit more. Jack, thank you much for the 25 bits. <laughs> this is so true this is so true new pokemon product comes out pokemon streamer slash youtuber is this content pokemon fans give me your whole stock exactly trevin and break oh man this was so annoying back in the days i used to love playing trevin and break oh man I stocked up on these things at one point because I thought they were going to go way up in value, and they never did, but that's okay. Silent Fear. Put three damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon, and with that item lock ability Trevenant underneath it, it was Brutality. But good times, good times, good memories. I played Trevenant uh, almost to a top 64 finish one time in an expanded tournament. I believe it was in Indian... No, not Fort Wayne. It was Fort Wayne, Indiana. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Pancham, Cricketot, Petalil, which is now out in Pokemon Go. Bill Cosby. We got Corsola, Gabite, Delinquent, Max Elixir. Yes, this is what I was looking for. I'm actually going to put some of these cards aside that actually have some potential value to them for later on. Six points, actually seven points because it's a reverse. Esper and a Pharaoh Thorn Rare. Oh, man. Definitely missed that card. It's elixir. <laughs> it's elixir. Do 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 do. <laughs> oh, whoops! I forgot. There's no energies here. Well, rip. That's okay. We got a spritzy, a shinx, hone edge, pancham, blitzel, splash energy, pokemon catcher, nuzleaf, which is all messed up with the printing. Look at that. It's all like, it's, it's like smudged. Is the only word I can think of. Simple and an age of slash hollow. All right, so pretty quiet so far. We've got a break card, which is neat. But other than that, it's a little, little on the quiet side for pulls so far. No energies, got to stop doing that. Chikorita, C-Dot, Gibble, Staryu, Skurupi, Electivire, Psychic's Third Eye, Grandpa Dunsparce, Corsola, and a Gold Duck. Gold, gold, gold duck. All right, three, two. Get another Gibble, a Staryu, Skurupi, Petalil, Pancham, Splash Energy, Misty's Determination, Arcanine, Phantom, and another Aegislash Hollow. That's two Aegislash and a Garchomp. 
five packs left to go. Man, why would we get double Aegis Slash? That's kind of a weird, a weird hollow to, oops, well, you know, I've been opening Sun and Moon packs plus Sword and Shield packs way too long, I feel like, because I keep thinking there's an energy there and there's no energy there. And I keep putting the card down and it, I, I mess it up. Another Greninja. <laughs> Greninja number two. Can never have too much Greninja. Spoiled it. Spoiled it. I spoiled it. I know. It's such a habit to do that that I just can't seem to break it. I didn't do it that time, though. We got a new one. A Shinx. Ducklet. Hone Edge. Skrelp. Delinquent. Another Nuzleaf that seems like it's smudged. It's weird. Gabite, Reverse Numel, and a Mega Scizor EX. All right, we finally get ourselves an Ultra of some kind, and it is the Full Art Mega Scizor. Very nice. Very nice. That's a good one. Uh, I'll put that over there. I was beginning to wonder if we were going to pull anything out of these. We only had three packs left. Kind of a quiet box so far until that point. All right, we got a Slowpoke, Rattata, Skaroopy, Pancham, Krikatot, Heatmore, Great Ball, Reverse Valley, Reverse Hollow is a Clefable, and a Seismitoad, a regular rare. Pika Pikachu, what's up, Angel? You're only a little bit late. We've only opened up one booster box, and we have opened up this one, which is what we're currently on right now. We still have three more videos to do, actually, before this stream is done. I almost did it again, guys. These XY packs are killing me. Skrelp, Spritzy, Timpole, Chikorita, Gibble, Psychic's Third Eye, Palpitoad, Potion, Reverse Luxio, and an Embor. Oh, man. I almost forgot Embor even got an EX card. It's so obscure. I just wouldn't expect it, you know? And even for uh, the time frame, Embor was kind of a, a tough pull to get. We didn't really pull very many... Embors, if I recall correctly, so kind of interesting to see this one just kind of pop up randomly. All right, guys, it's the final pack for the Breakpoint box. We got a Gibble, Glamiao, Phantom, Psyduck, Clefairy, Palpitoad, Cricketoon, Luxio, Reverse Hollow is a Suicune, and a Hypno, a regular rare, a very creepy Hypno at that. All right. Yeah, Embor got one. Superior and Samurai did not. You're exactly right. That was kind of weird how that worked out. Um, <laughs> Jiggles will be jealous. I don't know about that, but we'll see. Spoiled it. Spoiled it. Spoiled it. So many spoils. Yes, I know, Ranch. I, I messed up a lot of those, but hey, it is what it is. All righty, guys. Well, that is going to do it for this um, collector's album sealed box opening. I've got... 12 binders with Greninja on it, so that's something. Uh, other than that, we open up our 12 packs, and we've got two more of these to open up, one Crimson Invasion and one Unbroken Bonds, and we got Hidden Fates, which by now, you guys have already seen what's in those Hidden Fate tins on YouTube, because this video is definitely going up after that one. The magic of YouTube and recording. You guys never know when we actually record stuff, unless you're here watching live on Twitch. So, if you guys would like to do so, twitch.tv slash evolutionaries gaming where we do this uh eh, twice a month like i said so all right guys well thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to hit that like button comment down below subscribe for more tcg content there's something weird on that sleeve i don't know what it is but i'm throwing it in the trash and we'll see you guys in the next one so you all take care and have a great rest of your day <laughs>